Back at South by Southwest 15, and we're with Kyle from the Down and Outlaws. How are you? I'm great, man. How are you doing? I'm doing great. You know, how many years is this for you here? Oh, this is actually my first time is here. Is it really? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my gosh. But, well, what is it like so far? Did you get um, yesterday? Or? No, we've been here since Monday. Uh, we've, been, we've been playing all week. But, uh, yeah, you know what? It's it's really cool. It's a... Uh, it's so it's lively. It's it's uh, it can be a little overwhelming at times, but uh, but it's fun. I'm just not really good with the heat, basically. Yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, you know, Bay Area weather. No, nah, no. Nah. You know, I like the I like the overcast fog stuff. It feels like home though. Yeah, it's cool. Give us a little bit of background, kind of how you came up in music, who your heroes were, and how the band got together. Yeah, um, speaking for me specifically, my uh, all-time favorite bands are like Alice in Chains, um, uh, Nirvana, Pearl Jam, like basically that whole Seattle thing. You know, that that's that's like my my jam. Um, and then uh, me and the drummer for the band, John, um, we were in a band a long time ago together. He was actually the singer of that band. Um, and when that band broke up, uh, he was in another band for a, a year or so. And then um, the singer and bass player, uh, they're brothers. And so their band was ending, and then John and I just kind of jumped on that train with them, basically. So, uh, But this is all our first time here to South by Southwest. Okay, great. Yeah. Well, I know you guys are known for the exciting live performances. What, what is it about what you like to project <laughs> you know, live? Yeah, you know, it's it's funny. People people keep saying that and I guess I guess I have to agree. I guess it, it probably <laughs> is exciting. Um it's it's like uh, I don't know, man. I mean, I, I was climbing on a speaker stack the other night that almost fell over. Someone from the audience had to like hold up the speaker stack, you know. It's like we, we try just to make sure that there's something new to every show, like something new that's going to happen. I don't know. Um nothing terribly uh, harmful has happened yet. I we have like managed to accidentally hit people in the head with our guitars, you know, when we're in the crowd and stuff, but that's about the worst of it. But yeah, yeah it's fun, it's fun. But they gotta be close to the action for that to happen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now what's the difference between playing where the crowd's like in your face and, and you're playing a venue where there's a barricade in the front rows well, you know, 30 feet from you? I'll tell you what, you get, you can feed off people's, the best shows are always when there's more people because you're just feeding off of everyone's collective energy. It feels really good um, when there's just a lot of smiles and a lot of yells or middle fingers or whatever just coming your way um, and you just, you eat it up and you spit it right back. It's really, it's kind of a reflection. absolutely, yeah. Um, that's not to say that smaller shows aren't fun too. They're a lot more intimate, and you get to know members of the audience and stuff. So, it's cool. Everything, everything's cool, man. Well, I know you guys have been lucky enough to record at Dave Grohl's studio. Yeah. So six in the valley. That's right. Tell us how that all came about and what that experience is like. You know what? It was. Um, it's kind of funny. It was sort of like a right place at the right time sort of thing. Uh, I think it was two years ago now. We uh, we were playing at a place called Hemingways in L.A. And uh, this woman, Vanessa Silverman, um, Silberman, um, happened to see us and she just kind of kept in contact with us like over the next few months. And um, we eventually found out that she worked for Studio 606 and uh, wanted to get us in there, but then uh, basically put us through boot camp and we wrote 25 songs in a year and then watered it down, or not watered it down, narrowed it down to 10. Uh, and then recorded those ten songs after a year's worth of writing, basically. So this, this is the hallowed board from Sound yeah, City. You it, know? it was. When you think about the Rage Against the Machines and the Nirvanas, yeah, and the Fleetwood Tom Mac Rage and Tom Petty. Did, did you guys see the documentary? Yeah, yeah, we did. Um, yeah, it's. It was. I didn't actually. I, I obviously knew about the board and everything, but then um, you watch that documentary and you're like, oh, holy crap. It's like pressure. I felt. I definitely felt a little pressure. Um, you had to stand up to the level. Exactly. But uh, I mean, I, I think we made a good record. Uh, uh, the, the staff there is amazing. It was like it's kind of like joining a new family. You know, you walk out of there with like um, a really familial connection. It was really cool. Yeah. Inner circle. Yeah, it was really cool. So, I mean, they're like ultimate big brothers now. So that's you know cool. <laughs> yeah. Amazing yeah. stuff. Now, tell us about uh, the touring plans, you know, what, what you guys got coming up. Yeah, man. Um, so, this uh, tour, we, we from San Francisco, we did a bunch of shows on the way here. Um, and then 
Um, we're ending the week, actually, ending the tour, essentially, on Sunday at our last uh, showcase here. Uh, and then we're just driving straight back with a lot of camping. Uh, we like to camp a lot, so we camped a lot here. We're going to camp a lot back. Um, but the whole point of this tour was to sort of promote our upcoming single release from the record we did at 606, uh, a song called Lay Me Down. We have a video and the single coming out later this month, so I'm um, just trying to, I don't know, gain some attention for that. And then the record should be coming out later this year. So, yeah. So is touring taking you into foreign lands? Canada, Europe? No, not yet. Um, no, the furthest north we've gone has been Portland, and this is the furthest east we've gone in Austin. So uh, we keep it for a long time. All we did was San Francisco and L.A., back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, to the point where people in L.A. thought we were an L.A. local band, which was pretty funny to have people be like, wait, what? You guys are from San Francisco? But Yeah. yeah it's a short drive. Anyway. Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah we, Compared to driving to Austin. It's <laughs> yeah, exactly. Exactly. It was easy so, to do. So you guys are... Ready to become road warriors? Ready yeah, yeah. To ready to do it, man. Charted territory. Yeah. Strangers. Absolutely. Can't wait. I, I want to do more of this. This has been great. This has been a great two weeks. We got another week left. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm excited for more longer tours yeah, yeah. too. Why do we say that Texas and California aren't really states? They're more like countries. They are. They're they're quite large. <laughs> I mean, we drove through New Mexico like no problem, and I was like, oh, that was a state. Yeah. yeah you know, it's crazy. In the Northeast, and it's just state every couple hours. Exactly. You know, California from San Diego to the Oregon border is like a long drive. It is, man. I mean, it's 10 hours to Portland. Oh, no, it took us 11 from San Francisco to Portland even, you know? That's like a good good chunk of driving right there. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So all that you've seen and been through, what advice do you give to the young bands, the young players coming up? <laughs> well, I'll tell you what. Uh, uh, speaking about Austin specifically is to bring a dolly. Like, because we've been carrying, we've been parking out a parking lot and then having to carry our gear in like X amount of blocks. Like, you may think like loading from the van into a venue that your gear isn't heavy, but after four blocks, you're you're gonna be hurting. Like, <laughs> my shoulders are so sore right now. Yeah, yeah. So Jeff, definitely just bring a dolly when you're, if you're doing something like South by Southwest. Other than that, if you don't want to like kill your band members, make sure you give yourself a number of uh, hours to yourself every day, <laughs> basically. Band members that has like moving experience probably come. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You want a mover in your band. Yeah, you want a mover. <laughs> the guy who's not afraid to put his back into it. Pounds. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You want you want someone you want a heavyweight champion or something. You know, you want someone who can lift. Right on. Well, we, we really thank you for coming out. Absolutely, man. Thank you. Can't wait to see you in our homeland of LA again. Yeah. And, you know, help spread the word. Cool. Right on, man. Thank you so much.